divine or praise and all thanksgiving be ever moment now. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be ever moment now. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving a reading from the letter of Paul the Romans. I consider that the suffering of this present time are as nothing compared with the glory to be revealed to us. For creation awaited eager expectation the revelation of the children of God. For creation was made subject to futility, not of its own accord, but because of the one who subjected, in hope that certain that creation itself would be set free from every slavery to corruption and to share in the glorious freedom of the children of God. We know that all creation is growing even in labor pains, even until now. And not only that, but we ourselves who have the first fruit of the Spirit, we also groan within ourselves as we await the adoption, the redemption of our bodies. The word of the Lord. Saint Paul really understands that this life is a life that we call it temporal. Sure. Because this journey that we have in this life is a rehearsal of the life eternal. And that's why St. Paul said, the suffering that we go through now, comparing with the glory that we will endure, there is no comparison whatsoever. Because this suffering is limited to time. The glory is limited to eternity. creation that God has created because of the sin of man who was the master of creation because God created for him who have entered into relationship with sin has even gave that sin or that pain of, of, of consequence of sin into the creation. And that's why creation needs to be redeemed. And that's why Christ came not to redeem just the human being, but to redeem the whole creation. Because the whole creation have alienated themselves from God because of sin. That's why he said, in hope that creation itself would be set free of the corruption, of the enslavement of corruption and to share the glorious freedom that one day, together with that creation, we human beings become again children of God. And here he is referring to the blood of Jesus who reconciled us to the blood of Christ. We know that all creation is in pain, in the labor pain. You know what labor pain, for those who are mothers, they know what labor pain is. But even until now, we are in that pain. But not only that, but we ourselves, who have the first fruit of the Spirit, we have the first fruit of the Spirit. What are the fruit of the Spirit? That wisdom, that piety, that knowledge, that fervent that we have, fortitude that we have, to fear the Lord, that the first fruit of the Spirit was given to us by virtue of baptism and confirmation. We too are growing because we need to be redeemed from this enslavement flesh, which is sin. So that we await that the adoption that God has given us to the, son of, to the blood of His Son, we can redeem our bodies. And here St. Paul speaks about the resurrection of the body. 
Saint Paul was not saying something to to uh, to dissolute people, but he was really serious that this body, in a very spiritual form, in a very transformative form, in a very glorious form, we are going to be with the Lord. And so, what is the message that we learn from this? Saint Paul wants to tell the Romans, as he is telling us tonight, that this life is not forever. So if you put your faith or your trust in this life, you are going to be really mistaken because after 80, 90 years you are going to go and then what? What are you going to do? As Jesus said, you have inquired all in this life. You have inquired everything. That's what is good for you. If in the process you lose your soul. And the second lesson, lesson that we learn is we who are baptized, we who that the Spirit of God is within us, we still long to let go of this flesh and enter into unity forever with God. And if you say, I am not ready for that yet, Lord, I was telling them in the Sabbath thing, I want to be converted, but not now. Give me time, Lord. Everyone wants to go to heaven, but if I say to you, you want to go to heaven now? Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> it's like, you know, this life is going to guarantee more power. Little we know that the earlier we go, the better, the better it is. Many times, you know, when I see what's going on, how we allow our faith to be poisoned by the materialistic and by the uh, attitude that we find our environment, as I was speaking about how I can preserve, how can I be the good soil, by really staying away from people who have no faith. Because you will go down like them. You know, but they are members of my family. Unfortunately, you have to make that decision. Because many times, even your members of your family can be the acting agent of you know what. And you have to rise about that. Because within us, we don't have happiness. The only happiness we have is to leave this body to be united with Him. And that's what St. Paul said. We also grow within ourselves and await the adoption. A way that that adoption will be fulfilled, the redemption of our body. As we go to the celebration of the youth, we ask the Lord Jesus to really make us aware that the cross that we bear to share with him in the suffering and the glory that's awaiting us, we pray that this body will be mastered, will be disciplined, so that the glory that we await and we long for will one day be a reality.